Well, the run to the shrine should be any going any minute now. Here is Anya Winslow, live at Cheyenne Mountain Zoo. Anya, how's it going out there? Oh, Carolyn, it's a great morning. There's a lot of energy. The runners from the 10K that started down at the Broadmoor, Broadmoor are finally they're making their way up. The music's going. People are registering for their 815 run. And joining me this morning is Katie Borman to tell us more about what's actually happening at 815. Good morning, Katie. Good morning. 10K is underway. 10K, first 10K runners should be finishing any time now. And then at 8.15, the 5K gets underway. So overall today, we had close to 1,000 people pre-registered. So I don't know how many walk-ups we had. We're expecting over 1,000 people out here today running to the shrine. Well, these are obviously great numbers. We see the people already anxious to start for the 8.15. There still is time for people to come come on by and register. What do they need to know if, they're, if they can Absolutely. get themselves together? Absolutely. No time to shower. If you get out here before 8.15, you can still register at the registration tent right behind us. Jump in for the 5K and get your bib and your t-shirt when you arrive and you'll be good to go. Well, that's all great information and you guys actually are really dependent on this event. Can you talk to that a little bit? Yeah, this is a big fundraiser for us here at the zoo. It, it helps us, the money that we raise from your registrations helps us run the zoo. Running helps run the zoo. So by being out here today, you're helping support our over 800 animals. Well, go figure that, guys. Running actually helps run the zoo today. And, uh, you know, there's a little bit of time for you to, as Katie said, don't even bother showering. Throw on those running clothes and tie up those shoelaces and come on out here and put your best foot forward. Back to you guys in the studio with event details. Yeah, that's right. The 10K started at 7.15 this morning, uh, but registers are getting set to hit the trails this morning. Today at News for Size, Anya Winslow is live from the Cheyenne Mountain Zoo this morning. Anya, runners are already coming in. Yeah, they are, Carolyn, and we're still calling all weekend warriors because there's another race starting. We'll give you the details in just a few minutes. Mm. Out there this morning, perfect weather, in fact, for several runners who are getting ready to hit the pavement this morning. And our very own Anya Winslow is in Colorado Springs this morning at the Cheyenne oh. Mountain Zoo for the Run to the Shrine event. Anya, how's it going out there? Good morning, guys. We're, as you said, we're here at the Shia Mountain Zoo, and there is no lack of energy whatsoever. The music's going. Already hundreds of people have been registered, and the, the 10K run actually is underway. It started at 7.15, and we're hoping to see the runners passing us by in just a few minutes. But joining me this morning to tell us a little bit more about what's actually going on today at the zoo, at the Run to the Shrine, is Katie Bormans. Good morning, Katie. Good morning. We are waiting in anticipation here. The 10K runners should be coming through here any second now. They started at 7.15 this morning. 8.15 is when the um, 5K kicks off. So you can tell it's a beautiful day. Great day for a run up to the Shrine. Only day of the year foot traffic is allowed up there. And you're helping the zoo for a great cause too. And as we were talking earlier, this is actually a huge event for the zoo because the zoo doesn't get money from from right. any state or, or no state. tax support. The zoo doesn't receive any tax support, so we rely on fundraisers like this, big events like this, to help us care for our animals. We've got over 800 animals here at the zoo, and you can, as you can imagine, it's it's millions of dollars every year to to take care of them and. I think here comes the lead runner right now. I think we're getting ready to see our 10K runners. They're just about to make it up from down below at the Broadmoor. So here they come. There's our first one. Hopefully you guys got to see that. And as Katie said, the money is actually going to a good cause. It's helping them support and feed the animals. Back to you guys with event details. That's right. And it may be a little bit too late to register, in fact, because we saw the race yep. is getting started right now.